On the day um, of the accident, I was out fishing in, uh, at the front of Coco Creek, which is in, uh, out, right out in the middle of Cleveland Bay, off Townsville. So I was on the way back home, very happy with myself. Uh, this, the weather was great, the seas were flat. Uh, I didn't have a life vest on. I've done it a million times and hadn't thought to, uh, to wear one while I was out fishing on my own. Uh, neither did I have a lanyard attached to the cutoff switch on the, the engine. A pretty standard sort of thing for a lot of the fish shows around this area. And I reached forward to get a packet of chips out of the side console of my boat. And at that point my boat hit a, a small patch of rough water and it was just enough to put me off balance. Uh, next thing I knew I was falling forward, off balance, and unfortunately I let go of the tiller to steady myself on the esky. At that point the tiller pushed hard to the left. As I reached, the back of the boat dug in, and next thing you know I was flying over the back of the boat and uh, landed in the water. It, it happened in a couple of seconds. Um, it was almost instantaneous and just indicated how quickly things can go wrong in a boat. Once I surfaced, uh, the boat was coming around again. I tried to grab hold of the boat um, and get back in. I got hold of the boat, but there's no way I had the strength to pull myself back in and I was in danger of being cut up by the propeller further. So I pushed away from the boat to have a think about what to do. I wasn't sure how long it would be before another boat came along, so I decided the best course of action was to swim over towards Alligator Creek where I'd seen boats before and there was a marker in the entrance to that creek as well, so if nothing else I could use that marker to have a bit of a rest. It took me about 50 minutes to swim from where I was in the water to the marker, and uh, I was there for about 15 minutes. Um, after I arrived at the marker, the helicopter arrived on the scene of my boat, someone had come across my boat, and the helicopter took about 15 minutes in its search pattern before it came across me. Simple decision I made not to wear a life vest or use a cut-off lanyard. Um, put my wife through hell, put my whole family through hell in the, the 30 minutes or so where they didn't know whether I was alive or dead. I'm very lucky to have survived my accident. When I went overboard, I hit my arm and injured it quite badly. If that had been my head, I wouldn't be here today telling my story. It's very easy to overlook safety measures, whether it be at work, home or while you're out boating. The four main things that I'd like to get across to everyone today, especially those that go out boating, is always wear a life jacket when you're out. Always use a lanyard on your cutoff switch. If you can avoid it, don't go out on your own and always tell someone where you're going. Those simple things will help save your life.